Hello everyone, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. I am super duper excited to share with you the best of artful and deliciously plated meals. For those of you who do not know me, my name is King Tonto. I am King Tonto, the actress. I am the I said what I said king. Uh -huh. <laughs> I am a mom. I am a philanthropist, a humanitarian. I am a lover of God and now a YouTuber. <laughs> Today, my guest is Matilda Duncan. Welcome to my show, Matilda Duncan. Hi, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. I'm totally excited. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if you know Matilda, but Matilda Duncan has been on radio for 20 years. Yes, <laughs> 20 years. As old as some of you watching this video right now. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, Miss Matilda, Tell aside me. radio, mm -hmm. I want you to properly introduce yourself. To oh, us. wow. What can I say? Um, I'm Matilda, 20 years. I hope I don't look that <laughs> old. Um, it's from radio, which is communications and publications, which is pretty much what I do. Um, I'm also an MC. Guess what? I sell shoes for one Ooh. size only. Um, I own a tea company as well. It's a little bit of everything. And then I happen to be uh, half and half best friends with this woman over here. So yeah, <laughs> a Rotarian as well. I mean, the list is endless. It can't stop, right? Amazing, but I'm good to be here. Let's grab and rub. Oh, thank you. Thank you for <laughs> I'm sure you, did you recognize that voice? <laughs> did you? Shh. <laughs> no, no, there's some people who are smart, so I probably yeah, don't know. Don't yeah, know. Okay. amazing. So, I have introduced my fabulous friend and guest for today. Absolutely. She's super amazing. She has contributed so much into the industry, the entertainment industry for 20 years, and that's no joke. Mm. So, thank you very much. Thank you, more. So, I'm going to introduce my meal for the day. I like know. you all know, it's all <laughs> about food anyways. So, today... We have a bowl of deliciousness. Oh, it's that looks good. Called seafood okra. Now, okra is spelled O K R O, right? That's right. O K R O. Yes, O K R O, and can be made differently. I mean, I see. The, I see some Western people yeah. cook it whole, exactly. and it's not. It's not dry, but right. we make it into a soup, and it's thick, and it's dry, mm -hmm. and it's specifically from. What tribe? I think it's Yoruba. Oh. Isn't it? Yes, it is. Hmm. I think it's the Yoruba land, to be honest. But you know what I like about okra? What? The benefits, right? So what? apparently I'm hypertensive. Okay. And it can actually stop your like blood clotting and it can lower your blood pressure. It helps you stop a bit of heart disease and risks like that. So guess what? Morning, afternoon, night, I'm on okra. You're on okra. <laughs> That's the sound. Absolutely. <laughs> so yeah, so if you have that problem, mm -hmm. okra is your go-to. Right. And okra can be cooked, like I said, can be cooked in different ways. Some mm -hmm. can be cooked without oil. Right. Some can be cooked with oil. Right. So you have it healthy, you have mm -hmm. it non-healthy. Mm -hmm. it, it can also be cooked with beef, like different kind of proteins, not just it's seafood. It's Yoruba. Because there's ila sikpo. That's okra with ogbono and stirs. Ah, Have you tried ah. that? You see, I thought I was a foodie. <laughs> you see that one? I don't even know. So without wasting time mm -hmm. i would like us to dig in and i'm awesome. sure that the only that one of the reasons why they're tuned in today is because they want to actually get the benefits right. of our conversation from today right so what are we talking about we're talking about the negative effects of social media oh wow and this topic is actually very dear to my heart I'm extremely dear to my heart mm -hmm. because i mean come on i've i've, I've been there won mm -hmm. the t-shirts you mm -hmm. know I have been in that space, I have been in that negativity, I've been in that realm. Mm -hmm. So I do understand the negativity of social media. Right. But at the same time though, mm -hmm. I would not agree with you if you say that social media is all negative. No, I can't say it's all negative. Okay. But it's a little bit more in terms of the human aspect, right? Okay. Say for instance, you have the cyber bullying. Let's start with that. Mm -hmm. Right? Come, come closer. <laughs> that looks good. That looks really, ooh. Oh my God. I know, right? Many reasons why. See, this I'm is... such a bad host. <laughs> Should I have been plating for you first or pla you plating for yourself? No, first? but it's okay. I thought that was my plate. Girl, <laughs> it's my plate. Oh my God. You'll be all right. Okay. 
So yeah, so it has everything in it. It has wow. snails. Oh, that looks good. It has snails. It has oh my god, like giant crabs. Ooh, that looks good. Yes. Prawns. Mm. Yeah. And it has pepper, which I really oh. love. Ooh. Yeah. So that's, that's funny you say that because I actually I didn't I wasn't too sure what you were gonna do so I kind of you know <laughs> <laughs> I brought me some of my own pepper you know just to kind of like you know turn around because I you know I said I don't do salt so I gotta bring my pepper I hope you don't mind no it's thank fine. you so much <laughs> it's fine but this looks really good yeah this so good. okra mm -hmm. can be eaten with different um what they call this different starch mm -hmm. this is called gari eba it's um cassava right. like cassava mm -hmm. it's really nice yeah so oh, the go. negative effects of social media i had some right. guidelines here Let's so get some of those prawns up in there, there you yeah go. so mm -hmm. we could um mm. talk about mm -hmm. grub. that looks really good there we go okay okie dokie give that some water oh yeah Get some of this right there. Well, I washed awesome. my hands before I started, so. Well, you gotta wash your hands every day. These days, we're washing our hands like five every five minutes. <laughs> okay. I know, right? Yeah. Thank you. So. So social media. The negative effect of social media. Mm -hmm. So while I think social media is a very interesting place. Right. I also think it's a very dangerous place mm. that we should actually be aware of our environment just like we are in our day-to-day -day lives. It's it's a conscious space mm -hmm. that needs an extreme delicacy mm -hmm. and extreme strength to overcome. Mm -hmm. Just like me, I mean, I have been cyber bullied almost all my life. Right. And I had to get to a point where... Mm -hmm. I had it to just be doesn't okay you with it. Right, right. You know, mm -hmm. I, I knew it's it's wrong, it's not great, mm -hmm. but living in our society today with the cyberbullying and so much negativity online, right. you just get to just go through life with it. Like, mm hmm. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This is the bomb, girl. Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my god you see oh i told you i eat okra for, sesame, for, the, for a lot of reasons yeah good so, lord mm. yeah tell us tell us more about have you experienced mm. social <laughs> <laughs> mm. 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 i don't understand that why oh my days <laughs> oh my days oh my god <laughs> Oh, I'll give you a second of cyberbullying in a minute. Oh my you goodness. You see, we are not, we're not very nice hosts. I, I'm telling you, we need to do more. You know what? I'm just going to let you guys have the mm. the second bite, see, okay? Mm. Mm. So please, I'm not, I mean, come on. Mm. 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 Oh my days. Mm. So, what? Mm. I need you to talk, girl. Mm. Don't finish my food. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm. It was so good. <laughs> Cyberbullying. Mm. Um, lucky for me, my job is to um be behind the cameras. Okay. Unlike you, you've been on TV. Mine is radio, so it's kind of easier not being spotted. Except when I say something, and people go like, "Oh, your voice, oh, you know, whatever." Get kind of hair on that. Yeah. So um, but I have a brother who's into you know into TV. He's an actor as well. And I know what he faces. I know what we face at home as his family. Just being able to talk to him and say, look, because he's oh, he's always in the media, you know. And um, that's Smofan, by the way. Hey. <laughs> hey. Um, but, you know, he's he gets a little bit more emotional about certain things. You you kind of dust things off. Mm, so you, I'm a thick right, skin, man. Right. So you have a thick skin going on, and then you have the people who get into their shells. They, they lock their doors and yeah. they cry and want to kill themselves and mm -hmm. things like that. So this is where I'm thinking the negativities of that. How do you stop certain things like that? How do you, how do you, how do you put it to a halt? Because you're looking at faceless people. Okay. You're on social media, and hey, the internet has no walls. 
You put a picture up here today, it's in China in two seconds. Okay. How do you stop the faceless people who, on a normal day, cannot come and talk to you about anything? Do you get what I mean? The people who get into different characters. I don't even want to use the word fake life, mm -hmm. but the false identity of certain people. You see different things going on, cars, houses. You're not even sure if it's the, <laughs> they're owned by people. You know, so I'm, I'm, I'm in my space where I don't even believe anything anymore. I mean, social media gave me a baby. <laughs> gave me a baby last year. I remember. Year. You know what I'm saying? So, I remember. Yeah, you were even confused. You called me and be like, were you actually pregnant? Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I know I look pregnant, but, you know. But um, what is, what next with social media in terms of where it's going? Because it's, it's going so fast. Okay, so do you believe mm -hmm. that social media creates an antisocial personality? Oh, absolutely. Have you seen when you go to like parties and things like that and people just are not conversating anymore? There's nothing physical. Everybody's literally on their phones. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So people are more in tune into their mobile phones as to actually communicating with people. Mm -hmm. if you know what I mean? Yeah. So I yeah, in, I was in Paris. Um, you do that all the time. What am I talking about? Yeah, I did. We went to Paris um, a yeah. few months last year. Some, mm -hmm. Sometime last year, during my very, my birthday, mm -hmm. we went for like a brand thingy, mm. and I walked into this um, pub. What's a pub? Where, where yeah, mm -hmm. pub, yeah, where they drink beer, right? Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. it's a pub, right? Mm -hmm. So I walked into this pub, right? And on the wall, <coughs> oh sorry, right. this is not Corona. Oh, there you go. <laughs> this is Pepe. This is way too. <laughs> I can't help you. So, mm -hmm. I went into this pub, right? Mm -hmm. And on the wall was no Wi Fi. Talk to each other. Mm -hmm. it, it got me. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly one mm -hmm. of the negativity mm -hmm. of social media. We are not talking to each other anymore. anymore. Right. And it's so. It, it has so it has so infected us that it has crept into our marriages, into our home, Absolutely. our schools. Mm. I, I can I can remember mm. you mm -hmm. saying to me once. I think when we we're discussing about this, you said mm -hmm. to me, "You know, this actually affects me too." I'm like, "How?" Oh, you do it all the truth, time. I'm with you every second. But I'm on You're my phone. You're always on your phone. Mm -hmm. So it's like on every second thing you on your phone mm -hmm. and. It's not a bad thing totally, mm -hmm. but you need to have human relationship. Absolutely. You need to have human conversation. That's mm -hmm. how you grow. Mm -hmm. That's how you learn. That's how you actually catapult yourself to another mm. realm or, you know, stage in life. That's what I Boy, think. So let me throw it right back at you. you. You've been in that space where you're always on your phone. You literally, I, there are half the times I'm like, in every 30 minutes, I'm going to be like, Yo, are you still there? No, I do have that problem mm -hmm. too, but... Yeah, but so how do you plan to curb that? I think I've, I've done so well. I mean, I'm two for seven she weeks. She thinks the phone, <laughs> oh my God. Did you see recently her son, King Andre? <laughs> he literally had to say, Mommy, you're boring. Because she's always on her phone. <laughs> and it shocks me that you will say you're thick skin to certain things that you read, considering the comments and things that you get all the time. Mm. You know, and... um. I want to throw it to you to throw in a bit of advice to whoever is out there who just wants to die when they get a message or a comment. I remember seeing a vivid video of one of these um, um, actresses, or may I say, or let me say a public figure. Yeah. And she was going crazy because I think they had just talked about her baby. And she was like on, in, in tears and she was doing a video. And you know, it went, it went a bit deep, you know, deep on that. Yeah. You know, so what, is, what would you say? Well, to the them? thing is that we're actually going to come to that. We're actually going to come to how you can help yourself out of the negativity of social okay. media. But right now, mm -hmm. let us keep our focus concentrated on. Because mm. sometimes people don't even know it's a problem that what, you know, mm -hmm. that social media has affected them. Mm -hmm. it, like trolls, bullies don't mm -hmm. even know they're bullies. Mm -hmm. Bullies think that they've been bullied. Mm. You don't understand. The mm. mentality of a bully bullying you is, I'm being bullied, not me bullying you. So some of them don't even get the message of what they are doing or right. the negative effect. Right. Everybody has been affected by social media one mm -hmm. way or the other. Mm -hmm. Okay? And mm -hmm. it's it's sad to say, but it has affected the people who think that they mm. actually can sit and, you know, decide your life mm -hmm. or decide your story. Mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's affected them so much because they don't even know they've been affected. Mm. You have a problem, you don't know you have a problem. Mm. That's the biggest problem mm -hmm. in the whole world. Mm -hmm. Trust me. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. ding, 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 ding. Mm -hmm. Another one, I think, another um, negativity of social media is depression. 
Right. You know, depression, people, will, mm -hmm. which leads to um, loss of identity, mm -hmm. you know, fake life, like you said. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> now, what do you think about all of that? Mm. Do you think people... I have my reservation. I'm, I'm going to answer this question myself, too. Right. Now, I'm going to ask everybody. Do you think people mm -hmm. just come out and want to be fake? Mm -hmm. Or do you just think that sometimes people are so weak that they just succumb to pressure around them yeah okay now i think the, the question is do you think people just enjoy lying mm -hmm. <laughs> as regards to people right people being too pressured mm -hmm. to do stuff what mm -hmm. what do you think you know leave your mm -hmm. comments be below i'd love to read about mm -hmm. it and if we have to do this again because this is a very sensitive matter people are dying over mm -hmm. it people committing suicide mm -hmm. people are going crazy mm -hmm. people, are, people are dying this sweet sweet like this sweet like <laughs> 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 they are dying and living. It is not nice. I know. Mm -hmm. Good lord. Mm -hmm. oh, boo, I need a hook up on this. This is really good. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, personally, I think that people who live by what they see about other people's lives on mm -hmm. social media are just not confident about who they are. Okay. Or not I feel like I mean I as far as I'm concerned you got a complex. I'm sorry. I mean I'm 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 hitting it like that, but that's just what it is. Okay. Why would you look at somebody and say because she's got like lovely hair and she's driving a beamer, so I must do that and go to any extent to doing that just because so so and so is doing it. Why are you even hating? You like a photo, but you're hating about that person. It's just so much going on in your head somewhere, you know what I mean? So I'm here saying to yourself, just forget about what you see for that minute. I mean, everybody has their own race. Don't try to keep up if it's not with you. You are blessed that you're beautiful in your own space and way that you do certain things. Don't think because A has got it going, mm -hmm. you got to be on A's track. Maybe that is not your forte. Maybe that's mm -hmm. not your, your direction. How about if you're only going to get better? You know what I mean? Yeah. And you're limiting yourself with what you see on social media because somebody is giving them ride and cars and houses and fresh skin. I mean, by the way, you're looking hot tonight, by the way. Oh, thank you. <gasps> thank you. It's a king on this. So basically, I'm just like, you know, if you had your way, you would um, you would start by loving yourself. Yeah. Understanding yourself, mm -hmm. your space. Just love it, you know, and just ignore everything else that comes with the, the, the weight of, you know, the pressures you see on social media. There's half of them are not even true. You see people bowling yeah. out of control. They're probably sipping in their coffee. Yeah, I, I have seen people <laughs> go to Malams. Mm. Literally, legit, look, I'm not going to mm. bust nobody's bubble, right? Because this is not what it is. Mm -hmm. Well, I've legitly seen people go to Malam, mm. pay a hundred thousand naira mm. to get a hundred thousand dollars just for pictures with security. The, the security will follow you to the hotel room. That's extreme. You will video the money. Say whatever you want to say on your Snapchat, and these malams will take their money back. You pay them a hundred thousand there. The day I saw this, I was like this. <laughs> I said, "No, <laughs> come on, this, this mm -hmm. it was too much." And I felt I I didn't feel disgusted. I just felt extremely bad that mm. what was the situation that you'd have to go to that extreme to? Who are the people you're trying to poop? See, mm. look. After that time they see that money, mm -hmm. it's over. Mm. The, the problem might not even remember that you had right. the money that right, time. Right, right, right. After you wear that Gucci shirt that you're going to steal the money mm -hmm. from, or you're going to sleep with another man for, or you're going to break another woman's home for, we're going to forget that that was a Versace shirt you wore. Mm. We were going to forget it. Right. So you are going to keep, you have to keep wearing Versace shirts. Just keep it up. Shirts. Right, 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 right. For us to, right. you know? You right. Have, you, you, Just you, you, maintain on that lifestyle. Keep it up with it. No, it, the truth is, as easy as, as, as I might mm -hmm. make it to seem, mm -hmm. it took me over 10 years of working on myself and working on my I got a question for you, baby. And working on everything mm -hmm. to actually get to this stage to say, you know what? I cannot be faced by anybody's mm -hmm. life. I, I'm not going to sit here and say, I didn't have that phase in life. Mm -hmm. I grew up at some point. And when you're growing up, you actually, excuse me, mm -hmm. you don't know the left and you right. So, mm -hmm. you know, you get to fall and rise again. You, you get, you know. So I've been there and done that, but right. it's not easy, right. but it's doable. Right. It's achievable that nothing affects you. It's achievable that you go on right. Instagram, you see that person, he's driving a right. mozzarella, he's mm -hmm. doing this, he's doing that. Mm -hmm. And oh, you're like, oh, thank God for this person's life. But that's not going to affect you. Mm -hmm. That's not going to play on your self-worth. Mm -hmm. That's not going to play on your self-worth. 
love mm -hmm. because someone said you are fat and you are ugly. So mm. watch your fat and you're ugly. Okay? <laughs> so watch your this. So watch mm -hmm. your dark skin. So watch your fair skin. So watch you. You can't work well. Mm -hmm. So what? You know, mm -hmm. I think that negativity, the negativity, negativities of social media mm -hmm. can only truly be overcome by one thing. Which is what? Love. You gotta mm. love yourself intensively. Mm -hmm. You have to love yourself like no man's business. Right. You have to love yourself so much that by the time that people are telling mm. you that you are mad on the streets, that right. you're going back, you're seeing yourself in the mirror and right. you know you are not mad. Right. You know that. Right. So you speak to yourself in that mirror like you are not mad because mm. you are not mad. Mm -hmm. You're loving yourself every day. Self acclam acclamation. Mm -hmm. Is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. I'm not good at English. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. Self acclamation, you know? Right. So, right. yeah, for me, I think love. I like that. Love. Love is I like that you just say that. something yeah. that helped me. And I think it can probably help everyone. I, I like person, that. Yeah. And I'm going to use me a little bit of for, for that. I think for me, I just, you know, up and decided to do the same thing and just love myself. And I remember most times when I, was, when I started doing MCs, on the stage right there, I would literally talk about my body before anything. And, you know, that put a smile on my face because whatever you thought about me, I was like, ah. you know, but... I just, I mean, I'm too confident. You start stepping into a room and it's, you know, I've taken over. You know, I just, I'm not, because I just know how I feel and I know, you know what I mean? If I don't like certain things about myself, I'll change it. Stop, you know, procrastinating. Just start it. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I'll say good luck with everybody out there. Stop paying attention to negative stuff. That's yes. what I'll say. Please. You really be like Toto. You no, know? you don't have to be like me. My be, point is like, be like, skin. yeah, thick skin. Right. Like, be your right. own kind of person, but, mm -hmm. but you have to love yourself. Mm -hmm. You have, you have to have a lot of love for yourself in this crazy mm. world. Like, boo, this food though. It's nice, right? Yeah. It is. Yeah. Well, some you can have some. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's home, but you can't take nothing home. <laughs> no. <laughs> you see this? You see this? <laughs> you see this? Okay. Okay. So. Yeah, um, I have enjoyed the conversation so far. So I nice. have learned a mm -hmm. little, and um, that's because mm -hmm. I know a lot about this, mm -hmm. um, and I'm still trying to work on myself. It's mm -hmm. you see this um, social pressure thing, mm -hmm. this um, negativity uh, social uh, media. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. something that you can never overcome, like totally in your life. There, mm -hmm. on ev every stage. Uh, my father always says that every, at every level of success, there's a demon, there's a devil waiting there. Mm. But at every level, you pass this level of, oh, I, I get thick skin. I'm sure that I haven't seen what would tick me, mm. but I'm sure there's something out there, mm -hmm. you know, that could, you know. So mm. when I get there, I'll cross it. So it's, it's a process. Mm. We all have to go through that process. But the thing is, love yourself. Mm. Most of us do unimaginable things to mm. get to what we have. Most of us do the most nastiest things in the world that you mm. don't even want to get to hear. You don't even want to get to see. You don't even want to get to get involved in. So I think just take your life one day at a mm. time. Love yourself. And I mean, that's it. That's it. That, that's that, that's really it. Boom. You can you can let you, no, you can let nothing you can you let get nothing weigh you down. To you. So King, I mean, it's it's um, first. Thank you so much for having me here. I'm I'm feeling like I've ooh, <laughs> good lord. I've, I'm gonna do this again with you, right? Like I'm excited, mm -hmm. absolutely. Um, hey, so I was thinking about something earlier, and I thought you know to bring that by you a little bit. How about people who don't even know what their picture like? You know how you have like fake accounts? You probably have like ten thousand accounts. <laughs> you have to be sure which is which. But there are people who use your photos. At certain things, I mean, say for instance, having your photo on a dating site, and you don't even know, you know what I mean. While you also have other people who are kind of using their photos for prostitution with the hashtags and things that they use as well for it. I mean, which also pulls me to like for kids. What happens with children? I mean, you have like these pedophiles out there. You have people who that is why it's very important mm -hmm. for mothers, actually parents, not just mothers now, parents mm -hmm. to be careful mm -hmm. what the post. Now, this may come as a very big shock mm. to parents, mm -hmm. but I'm telling you that there are some pictures of your children that you post innocently mm. that are being shared in child pornographic websites. That is called dark web. Whoa. Yes, it's called a dark web. And they take these pictures and they go there. Now, most of this child adoption, child uh, kidnap, rape, and actually ends up sometimes being the death. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes we find that, like uh, Amanda 
some some someone did something. Mm -hmm. and she was kidnapped for over t twenty years, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. she finally ran away. So most of these things are people taking your child's picture, putting them on site that they shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. They're sexualizing your children, mm -hmm. and they're making them what they're not supposed to be. They're not letting children. But be how do you children. how do you stop that? Like I said, you be have to be careful. Right. Now the first things first. Like I always, I, like I said before, I said this mm -hmm. thing. I said that. Most people don't even know that it exists. Right. Most right. mothers don't even mm -hmm. know that their picture, children's pictures have been used for different mm -hmm. pornographic websites mm -hmm. or on different pornographic websites. Mm -hmm. So we need to be careful as a family. Mm -hmm. We need to be extremely careful of the people who are around us that take pictures of our children. Mm. We need to be careful. Sometimes too, we might not even know. It's just innocently, mm -hmm. you know? I could just take a picture of a, uh, my my you know, my four-year-old you know, right. swimming, probably without even a panties right. or anything, right. and post it. Right. That's innocent, you know? Right. For right. me, it's innocent, but someone is sexualizing my son somewhere. Oh my God, that's, that's crazy. It's, not, it's something that you cannot change. You mm. cannot do nothing about it where you can protect your space, your family, and those that you love by reducing the kind of content you put out there for children that are not up kids. to age. My son has an um, um, Instagram account, but I strictly control it. Right. I know the content that went out there. Right. I'm not going to put nothing to, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and to entice We learn any, every right. day. I didn't know about the dark web until five years ago. Wow. Yeah, where they sell children on the dark web. Oh, wow. On the, okay, two, oh, wow. two, three days ago. Mm -hmm. On the dark web, that's where they were. The, uh, a Lebanese man was going to sell a Nigerian woman, and the Nigerian government came in, brought the Nigerian woman I back into the country right. in 24 hours. That was on the dark web. Right. They right. sold anything on the dark mm. web. They couldn't even sell lions on the dark web. Oh, Ask wow. uh, Cairo basket, basket. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh wow! So yes, that's. that's I like that. Mm. I really I like that that, yeah. that pull out for for yeah. parents because most times, I mean, every every kid has a phone. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On the internet, they, they you know, can. They, they know how yeah. to access a phone. The, this, they do. I mean, the age My is My four-year-old is old, just pressing and he goes to. But I don't even know how he, how he manages, but he just goes to places I don't even know. I'm like, whoa. Four-year-old, that boy, he got more followers than I do. I don't know what's going on with that. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Grub and rub. Oh, my God. I'm excited. I'm excited. Thank you very much oh, I'm excited. for joining me to, on today's episode mm. of Grub and Rub with King Tonto. I'm very excited Wait, that you were here with us. Uh, you could take more, but you can take home, boo. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoyed everything. You enjoyed, mm -hmm. you enjoyed the food, eating the food with us. Mm. And I hope you enjoyed the topics. I do know that some of the things that we said here are not things mm -hmm. that people are aware of. Mm. Well, please, please, please go mm. on the... Go to... Um, mm. The subscription button you click on it so you can learn more of more of these topics that we put out there and also go on the internet and read more on dark webs child pornography and all of this Absolutely. thank you very much Absolutely. i love you Absolutely.